Hello, in this session, we will learn how to apply decals to desired locations on the map. First, we create a material to make a decal. In order to turn the material into a decal format, we set the material domain to deferred decal and the shading model to translucent. Next, press T on the keyboard and click to create a texture sample node and apply your desired texture. In this case, we will set it to the Unreal logo. After setting, connect the texture sample node to the material pin as shown in the video, and the texture will be applied to the decal. When the decal is spawned in this state, the textures left and right and angled do not match. Therefore, to change the direction of the texture, we create a text chord node that represents the coordinates. Create a custom rotator node to rotate the texture and connect it to the constant node you created and set the value to change the angle of the texture as shown in the video. You can create a constant node by pressing 1 on the keyboard and clicking. Next, let's do a left and right flip. Use the breakout float 2 components node to separate the X and Y of the texture UV. Then press M on the keyboard and click to create a multiply node and multiply the red channel representing UV's X by a negative number. Then use the Make Float 2 node to combine the red channel multiplied and the green channel to recreate the UV as shown in the video. When you connect the recreated UV to the texture sample node, you can see that the texture has been flipped left and right. Next, find and click on the blueprint of the character. Create a Keyboard Events node and set the key to spawn the decal. Then use the do once node to make sure that only one decal is created when pressed once, and not multiple are created. Next, to create a decal in the direction we are aiming at, create a line trace by channel node and connect it to the do once node. And to set the aiming position to the camera's standard, drag in the first person camera component and connect the get world position node to get the location value of the camera. And connect it to the start pin of the line trace node to start the trace from the camera's world location. Next, Let's set the end of the trace. Connect the Get World Rotation node to get the camera's rotation value. And to recognize the front of the camera, connect the Get Forward Vector node to the Get World Rotation node. Then use the Multiply node to set the length of the line trace. And using the Add node, Add the Get World Location node and Multiply node to set the endpoint at the length of the line trace from the start point. In the Draw and Debug type of the line trace by channel node, you can set the visibility of the line trace. Next, use the Branch node to determine if an object or wall has hit the line trace. If an object has hit the trace, connect the Spawn Decal at Location node and set the decal material you created at the beginning to create the decal. The created decal is smaller than expected, so set the decal size larger. Next, to get the information of the object hit by the trace, connect the break it result node to the out hit pin of the line trace by channel node. Since the decal must be created where it hits the line trace, connect the location pin of the break kit result to the location of the spawn decal. Finally, because the decal must face the front of the place where it hit the trace, connect the normal pin of the break kit result to the rotation of the spawn decal at location node. Now, run the game and press the key set in the keyboard event node on the map and you can see the decal being created on the walls or objects of the map.